the book. Title, Relativistic and Non-Relativistic Quantum Mechanics, Both at Once. Authors, Luis Grave de Peralta, Hira Farouk, Maricela Fernandez Lazada, Gage Eichmann, Abhishek Singh, and Gabriel Prime. Publisher, Springer Nature in the Book Series Undergraduate Lecture Notes in Physics. Topics included in the book. Next, we present a brief summary of the topics included in the book. Preamble. This book is a first attempt at introducing relativistic quantum mechanics to interested learners with no previous knowledge of quantum mechanics. Currently, relativistic quantum mechanics is considered an advanced topic that is only accessible to students that have already received considerable training in non-relativistic quantum mechanics. However, the authors believe to have found an excellent pedagogic approach for simultaneously introducing both topics of non-relativistic and relativistic quantum mechanics. This book is the result of the research that was first conducted in the fall of 2019. Ultimately, these were crystallized in the publication of the papers titled Did Schrödinger Have Other Options? by L. Grave de Peralta in European Journal of Physics, 2020. Making Relativistic Quantum Mechanics Simple, by L. Grave de Peralta, L. Poveda, and B. Poirier, in European Journal of Physics, 2021, and A Non-Relativistic Approach to Relativistic Quantum Mechanics, The Case of the Harmonic Oscillator, by L. Poveda, L. Grave de Peralta, J. Pittman, and B. Poirier in Foundations of Physics, 2022. Recently, there have been another 11 papers published about this topic. Purposely, we have avoided the utilization of the well-known Lorentz invariant equations. With that avoidance, we only refer to the Klein-Gordon and Dirac equations for justifying the use of the poveda poirier grave de Peralta PPGP, equations. The PPGP equations are the equations this book is solely based on. Nevertheless, to steer clear of unnecessary complications in an introductory book, we sporadically refer to well-known results obtained by using the Klein-Gordon and Dirac equations. Chapters 1 and 2 provide a fast and traditional introduction to non-relativistic quantum mechanics. In Chapter 3, this book diverges from a traditional introduction to quantum mechanics. The first proposed ideas of relativistic quantum mechanics are introduced for a background sense of what this book wants to ultimately pursue. This includes the introduction of the Schrödinger-like PPGP equation and its use to solve simple one-dimensional problems. Chapter 4 contains a novel and ambitious study of the consequences of special theory of relativity for quantum mechanics. This includes the study of the relativistic harmonic oscillator and a pedagogical presentation of Klein's paradox based on solving the Schrödinger-like PPGP equation for a step potential. More realistic three-dimensional problems are solved in Chapter 5. The spin and the poly-like PPGP equation are introduced in Chapter 6. The relativistic description of the hydrogen atom is presented and compared with experimental results. In addition, the relativistic descriptions of a spin dash, s equals 0, and a spin dash, s equals 1 slash 2, particle moving in a Coulomb potential are compared. Chapter 7 provides a brief overview of the problem of how to describe systems with more than one quantum particle. This includes the application of Pauli's exclusion principle for describing atoms, a precise yet brief visit to a relativistic Fermi gas, and the discussion of the importance of including relativity for describing the formation of black holes in cosmology. Most of the results that are presented in this book are widely known results proposed and discovered by a multitude of physicists. However, we introduce some controversial but exciting topics in the last chapter. Only time and experiments will judge the validity of the ideas discussed in Chapter 8. These topics were included for celebrating the first century of quantum mechanics, 
for illustrating that relativistic quantum mechanics remains an open field of research and for emphasizing that the pleasure of discovery and the critical thinking skills should be systematically cultivated. Poveta Poirier Grave de Peralta, PPGP, Equations These are the equations on which the book is based. Schrodinger-like PPGP equation for a spin zero particle that it is interacting with an external potential. If mu is almost equal to m, then it coincides with the Schrodinger equation. Pauli-like PPGP equation for a charged spin 1 slash 2 particle that it is interacting with an external electromagnetic field. If mu is almost equal to m, then it coincides with the Pauli equation. Annex H, the pedagogical value of the PPGP equations. 1. In traditional introductory quantum mechanics courses, students learn how to solve the Schrodinger and Pauli equations. 2. We present in this book a pedagogical approach for simultaneously teaching non-relativistic and relativistic quantum mechanics. The presented approach only requires solving Schrodinger-like and Pauli-like equations. The presented approach is then compatible with the approach often used for teaching non-relativistic quantum mechanics. 3. Formally, there is a fundamental difference between the Schrodinger and Pauli equations and the corresponding Schrodinger-like and Pauli-like PPGP equations. This is that m is a constant in the Schrodinger and Pauli equations, but mu is a local function on the position of the particle. This difference captures most of the consequences that special theory of relativity brings to quantum mechanics. This difference is amazingly simple. This simplicity provides a pedagogical opportunity for simultaneously teaching non-relativistic and relativistic quantum mechanics. This book is an example of how we could simultaneously teach and learn non-relativistic and relativistic quantum mechanics is an introductory quantum mechanics course. The authors of this book wish and expect that future books based on similar approaches could be much better. Annex I, the heuristic value of the PPGP equations. There is latent tension between physics and mathematics. While mathematics is the language of physics, physics is not mathematics. There is some true in the phrase, if you cannot explain a physical idea in layman terms, you still do not understand it. Too few mathematics may result in an imprecise physical theory. Too much mathematics may result in a physical theory that is, at least, unintelligible for many. Non-relativistic quantum mechanics may for some be a physical theory with too much mathematics. However, a century of teaching experience resulted in clever ways of disseminating the fundamental physical ideas included on it. What is quantum mechanics? A layperson could ask. Today, most physicists, chemists, and many engineers could answer in a comprehensible way to the layperson. There are no waves associated with a classical particle, but there is a wave associated with a quantum particle. Quantum mechanics is the physical theory that indicates how to calculate the wave function that describes how that wave is. Wave functions are solutions of wave equations. A few mathematical skills are needed for solving wave equations. If you are interested, there are available many pedagogical quantum mechanics books. And what is this thing named relativistic quantum mechanics? A layperson could also ask. Well, probably you could not handle my answer. An arrogant expert in quantum electrodynamics may say. However, a reader of this book may answer something like this. As I told you before, there are no waves associated with a classical particle. However, I should apologize to you for my previous response. I should have said that, in the non-relativistic quantum mechanics theory, there is a wave associated with a quantum particle. However, non-relativistic quantum mechanics is only an approximated theory. This is because it is only valid if the energy of the particle is very small. Relativistic quantum mechanics is the precise theory. 
It is valid for any particle energy. To be precise, there are two waves associated with a single quantum particle. Relativistic quantum mechanics is the physical theory that indicates how to calculate the wave functions that describes how both waves are. Wave functions are solutions of wave equations. A few mathematical skills are needed for solving wave equations. If you are interested, I know about a pedagogical book that allows you to simultaneously learn relativistic and non-relativistic quantum mechanics. This hypothetical dialogue illustrates the heuristic value of the pedagogical approach in which this book is based. A simpler but still precise theoretical approach may facilitate thinking about the physical meaning of the mathematics involved in it. Moreover, it may facilitate thinking about possible consequences of the theory. Chapter 8 Some Consequences of Relativity for Quantum Mechanics In Chapter 8, several heuristic discussions are presented. They explore some hypothetical but far-reaching consequences due to the introduction of a special theory of relativity in quantum mechanics. The relative simplicity of the PPGP equations facilitates the use of some interesting heuristic semi-quantitative arguments. These heuristic discussions allowed the filling of some notable holes in the existing quantum mechanics theory. Nevertheless, there is latent tension between physics and mathematics. While mathematics is the language of physics, physics is not mathematics. Too much mathematics may result in a physical theory that is, at least, unintelligible for many. However, too few mathematics may result in an imprecise physical theory. This means that the heuristic finding presented in Chapter 8 should be received with both justified enthusiasm and skepticism. This is how science progresses from enthusiastic skepticism to careful proof or disproofs of interesting hypothesis. Chapter 8 was designed for developing the critical thinking abilities of the readers and for introducing them to the pleasure of discovery that every science lover should feel. We expect to have achieved our goal. The authors encourage you to watch the introductory level video titled, Why Are We Not Surrounded by Antimatter?